Hey cousins, welcome back. Brandon Blackwood just released the catalog for the upcoming spring 2023 vault collection. And we have no time to waste because we got to get into these bags. Mama got to work in the morning and I still have to edit this video and I'm tired and it's already midnight. So if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. All right, let's get into it, girl. So we have a brand new bag. This is the Aida bag. It's coming in five shades and I love it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. I love it. You know, I live for a top handle and a crossbody. So get you a girl that could do both. I love the color selection so far. I'm not even a pink girl, but I really do like this pink. The only thing that I am concerned about is whether or not the D rings. Okay, okay. We have separate D rings. Cause y'all know I don't like hooking on my crossbody strap to the actual top handle. So there is a separate D ring, which is nice. I don't think there is a pocket on the back of the bag. That would have been chef's kiss for me, but there are card holders inside. So that means you ain't gotta carry a whole wallet. But I really like this zippered compartment card slots it is doing a, a lot for me so I am very very happy with this bag and I think it's gonna be a really really nice hit and plus let me back up let me back up did y'all see the denim one denim one has wax that's the that's a wax denim but this one looks a little bit shinier so he might have switched it up is not the, the wax denim that we're familiar with with the ESR totes this one actually looks like waxed like there's a film on it so it's not the wax I love but she cute or whatever Courtney I love that bag she's gotten a little bit of a extra little razzle dazzle she trimmed up the beard so now she's beaded okay she got her little razzle dazzle show girl option and it's coming in a couple of colors I love the Courtney bag in general, as we can see, but uh, this one has the really, really thin beads. So, I'm, you know, I'm still not a fan of the little, the little razzle dazzles Brandon be putting on here. Hey, that's, that's his bag. But I was very like shocked that, you know, we we got some color blocking over here with this orange and purple. I, I wasn't expecting that at all. So uh, there's a few bags that have a sort of color block situation going on. But Courtney, she trimmed up her beard. It comes in three colors right now. And you know, she, she a little different, but I, I stand by the original Courtney's. That's my girl. Another new bag, Daphne. Daphne, I freaking love. It's very similar to the YSL little shoulder bag or whatever that's really popular right now. But baby, this little mint green number. <laughs> Beautiful. And it looks like it's a different texture. Normally he has just like, you know, a very smooth leather. This one has a oil leather. Mm. I'm into it. I am into this bag. You know, it's, it's a really simple bag, something I'm probably gonna carry like top handle, but um, I don't think this is gonna fit over, you know, the bat wings over here. Yeah, he didn't put the, um, the drop. That would be nice to know what the drop is uh, from the top of the handle to the uh, top of the bag. So, you know, us plus size girls can figure out whether we can, you know, secure the goods too. But um, yeah, the this bag is a very, very simple. No feet at the bottom. I wish it would have had a little bit of feet, a little bit more hardware. You know I'm a hardware kind of girl. But overall, it looks really good. I think it's a slot in, on the side. Yeah, very simple, easy, grab and go. Now we have Little Miss Elise. Uh, this bag was, again, something a little bit different. It kind of is a smaller version of Daphne, to be honest with you. We have this braided handle, 
but I wish they would have carried that weaving all the way around the entire handle because the most intricate parts are kind of on the base of the bag where you really get to see the technique of it all. And then it's like, all right, somebody got tired and just was like, all right, <laughs> let's hurry it up. This is one of those open carry type bags. It does have the B clasp on there. So it provides some protection for those unwanted visitors. But this bag, like it's okay. It's okay. I already could tell it's going to be extremely small, but you know me because I'm a size queen. I'm going to go for Daphne versus Elise. And I'm quite all right with that. Brandon has never shied away from Big Bag Energy. And now we have the everyday totes in literally almost every color. This is a huge, huge bag. One thing I will note, he put his name right on the front of that thing and I ain't mad at you. You know me, I, I be wanting to see the name. I want to see it. I feel like this would be a good airport bag. It's got feet at the bottom. You got a crossbody option. I mean, and it zips at the top. Yeah, for me, this would be the perfect, you know, carry-on bag. And it comes with a little clutchy. Put your important docs in there. Comes in a few colors. Let me see, is this a different textile? A couple of different textiles too. We got some leather, we got some canvas. So you got options with that one but i know this bag isn't going to be for everybody this will be a good sneaky link bag mm, i'm just saying like some of y'all living that life nice little overnight bag i'm just saying but the fact that this one has that top zipper that's the game changer because a lot of these big totes they don't have a freaking zipper or even a cross body option something you could throw on the shoulder you know sometimes you don't necessarily want to wear it like that, but in a quick pinch, oh, that thing be coming in clutch. So the everyday tote, brand new, I'm into it. The one that really speaks to me is that linen canvas. Like that looks like the perfect beach bag. Like just uh, vacation, got all my stuff, my book, sunglasses, SPF, like, yeah. I like that one. Making her grand return is Jasmine. Listen, the Jasmine bag came out in the fall collection only in black and I wanted it and I hesitated. I said, nah, that bag probably won't even sell out. Nobody's really checking for it. So I ended up getting, you know, bamboo, mini totes and things like that. When I tell y'all, y'all sold that bag out in like 10 minutes, I was tight. And then what, a couple of weeks later, Brandon ended up giving um, like a coupon code and I could have saved the child. Don't get me started on that. But <laughs> Jasmine, she is back and she brought some friends along with her. Listen, 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 listen. That green one with the gold hardware. That looks sophisticated, elegant, and chill all at the same time. Like, I mean business, but I'm going somewhere, okay? All right? So the Jasmine bag is going to be very popular. I can tell y'all this right now. So it is coming back in black, which I'm like, ooh, yes, I, I, I'm a black girl. I love that. But I have so many black, Brandon Blackwood bags that is like, girl, I don't, I don't need another one. But child, that green one, like I remember saying like it was a really good bag, but damn, like y'all, that was for my, you know, my corporate baddies, corporate baddies. It's time to unite. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think this is going to be a bestseller again and Price point right, colors right, hardware right, top handle, crossbody, a little clochette. Like, yes, give it all to me. Nice height, nice weight, nice. Jasmine, we, we ain't even gonna say too much about her. 
she she's gonna be sold out i can tell you that right now she yoink gone i'm still not a fan of this bag <laughs> but madison she's here <laughs> It's something about that net, okay? I just n am not vibing with it. But some of the colors that were chosen for this bag, I'm just like, all right, I see what see what you're trying to do there. I'll be honest, the green one speaks to me. I I love how that green one looks. But again, this kind of color blocking situation, like this orange and purple. I think I'm just in love with the colors <laughs> because I'm not checking for this bag. Never was. But the way this one is color blocked, I like it. It's fun. It's purple on the inside. Well, it's not purple, but the purple trim on the orange bag and then it has the purple. I, I like what he did there. It's not me at all. Not me. Not even a chance to be me, but it, I just like the color one. It's giving, you know, Ariel baddie, okay? So, yeah, that green one is definitely Ariel baddie. <laughs> Part of your world. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just, it's just not for me right now. So, if you like the Madison bag, you want something a little different, that, that's gonna be yours, but they ain't gonna be mine. Something that I was really shocked to see was this micro Nia bag. It does not look like you can remove the chunky chain, which is, for me, that's the downfall of it. But this blue metallic is just beautiful. I don't know how much weight that chain has. So yes, it's something you just carry in your hand, but if it's gonna be heavy, of defeats the purpose you know what i'm saying and then on top of it of this is one of those cute cutesy bags okay just you show up okay keys maybe a credit card emergency 20 and that's it you carry your phone in your hand and that's it you just show up boom that's it so if you like little tiny bag energy situations this is your bag, I have the full size Nia. I love that, that's, she's a workhorse for me, but she's cute. I like the colors of this. Cute, if it's functional for you, God bless you. But I do love that big B right on the front though. Bad bitch energy, Blackwood energy. Woo! Now, <clears throat> this rendition of Nia was very, very interesting. So, Nia is coming in, I don't even know what to truly call this, but it's, is it knit? It's like almost crocheted knit. I, I really don't know what it is, but when you read the, the um, description, it says it's a removable interior. So you could just pop it out, which, that is nothing new. I think the Medina bag did something similar, but I, I, don't, I don't know about this rendition. You know, I'm always a little uneasy about some of the designs and the, the well, not the designs, the textiles. I ain't even gonna front. It threw me off because I don't know how I feel about it. I don't like these renditions. And then the one with all the straw, given very much so Michael Jackson's Scarecrow, you can win. I honestly love that one. Minus all of the, the straw. Had that just been regular, I would have loved it. That would have been a beautiful, summer spring bag why well, i keep saying summer first child i don't know but yeah like even on the top it's got a little weaving on the the brown leather that's that's so cool yeah i wish they would have just left the fringe and just had the wicker and 
I would have been happy with that. Damn. Can we get a, a, a different bat version? I, I really like that one. But yeah, I, I just don't like all of the stuff. But I feel like that's going to be for the girls who want to post up for the gram. I'm not that demographic, okay? But if you are, go ahead. Have, have a party. Tell Dorothy I said hey. Another new bag. We have a Nora. And this one, I'm kind of interested in. Because it's giving top handle, but it's also giving kind of bucket bag, kind of bowling bag, kind of crossbody bag. So it's it's got a lot of the vibes and it's all meshed together. And I don't know how to take it. <laughs> it's something about it that it doesn't look too big doesn't look too small but it does it cinch like let's look at this like around the top it looks like it cinches but I think that's just the vibe of the bag and not ne necessarily the function and trying to zoom in it looks like it does have feet which is fantastic and it looks like it has a pocket long crossbody strap with adjustment but it is different okay hmm. he went to the key ring thing that's the one class i don't like i don't like well there's two but you know the ones that you gotta push down like that and it just got that bar yeah that's not my favorite hook I like a little lobster claw, okay? I'm a little bougie over here. But it, I don't know, something about that, it just reminds me of the childhood. So um, yeah, but this has feet on it, which is fantastic. I, I kind of dig it. I, there's something about it. Because it's, uh, yeah, I think it's the, the, the top of the bag that I'm really digging. And then it has the top handle and the crossbody. So you have options. And that's what I like. It's almost like the, I guess, it, I, it's like the Bottega clutch that you put like that. And the Chanel 22 had a baby. Yeah. Yeah, but I prefer how it looks kind of cinched at the top. And then of course he he has his name in hardware. You know I'm a stand for the name in hardware. So Nora Bag, she she's a little different. But I kinda like it. I kinda like it. My top handle divas, Quincy. 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 I really I wish I really loved top handle bags like that. This is just clean and simple. Mmm. Just it looks like the handle to the back, you know, proportion is pretty good. I love just Brandon Blackwood in hardware, right across the flat. It's just a simple pit. Looks like a magnetic opening. There's no V, but very simple pad. My minimalist would love this. Phone, keys, nice little wallet or something. Yeah, this is a really, really good bag. This. I would say would be competing with the diesel bag that everybody's trying to, you know, get into. But this is way sleeker, just way more clean. Just mm. so I, I dig that. I, I yeah, I enjoy a clean bag. Okay, I enjoy simplicity because the thing about it with simplistic bags, they they carry on lifetimes, generations. You can hand it down. And this is a bag that I can see being handed down because it's just so simple. So I, I like her. I really, really like Quincy. I wanna see what's up with Quincy, <laughs> to be honest. It's, it's just a little small something. It's small, but it has a good impact. And I really do dig that. Something very new, very different. We have a travel pouch for my, you know, travel girlies out there. And it is quite organized. I will say that. I wasn't expecting that. 
They have slots for your tickets, your passport, your baggage receipt, your money, and other nefarious things. But it looks like it get, uh, the middle part is removable. Yeah, it's a cute little fun thing. You know, when people be taking the little passport pictures, you know, all groups, hands in. Yeah, you just do the... <laughs> you do the travel pouch now. So, a little zipped compartment. It's cool. I like the idea of this because it's very organized. And sometimes you just want to be very organized when you're at, you know, the airport because you don't want to have to deal with everybody and trying to grab everything. So, if all your stuff is there, it would have been nice if there was card slots because... You, I don't know about y'all, but when I'm at the airport, you got to show the ID. Then you have to, you know, you have your one credit card so you can go to Starbucks or something like that. But it would have been nice right in the front on the panel that it had maybe two, make, no, four, four little slits right there. Boop, boop. Me and my mate. Cool. So, I mean, Brandon, call me up. I can hook you up with some designs too. I gotta be, I'm a consumer. Pick my brain, you know? Let's do stuff. But it comes in a couple of colors. I think it's cool. All right, he is bringing back the vanity purse with the 24 karat gold plated hardware. Little top handle joint. I, um, I went a little bit further into it on my last video. I think this bag is cute. It has a mirror in it. I personally would just use it as some sort of vanity. To be honest, I'd throw makeup in it. I really would. It has feet, a stationary handle. So that one is making its grand return. But let's get into this freaking bag. The mini metal minadoua. I don't care what you say, but this purple iridescent It's a boxy, but I love the color. It comes with a very long chain, um, which looks like that it has that same iridescent quality to it. The only thing I do wish is that the top, they would have had some sort of metal because just regular chains, that thing gonna slip off. I got, you see my shoulders? I don't have beautiful straight shoulders like that. I got the I got the slopes. So <laughs> chains and me don't really work out. But I really do like this. It's very similar to the Kendrick trunk. But um yeah. It's some it's it's like a little bar of silver and gold. So if you're into it, go ahead get it, girl. Next, we have a crystal card case. Now, the great thing about this card case is that it does feature, again, a very long chain. So I don't know how long this chain, well, the chain is 47 inches, 47 inches. So it looks like it should be a little crossbody situation. It's not adjustable. So if you're a short babe, sorry girl, can't help you with that. But this reminds me of, you know, those old cigarettes, cases like back in the old Hollywood that they you know they'd be lined up only this time it looks like it's a money clip inside so you just kind of stick it behind the money clip and keep it pushing and it also looks like there this is some sort of mechanism where you can pull out the actual d-ring to flip it up so you can attach the longer strap. I wonder how that is. Like, do you just flip it up? Do you pull it out? Like, you know how it is on the Fendi first where you can like swoop it, you know, lock it and swoop it. I wonder if it's like that. Mm, or you just, you probably just flip it up. I feel like you just bloop, bloop, <laughs> and attach the chain. But um, it's cute. It's cute for what it is. I wish kind of like the actual Brandon Blackwood. I don't know, I feel like it needs an extra pop. 
it's just it's stamped like it's not stamped on it it's embossed in it but i need i needed to stand out you know I, I i like the razzle dazzle but i need i need more i need more and finally we have this mini kendrick trunk specifically this iridescent one now I've seen pictures of the silver one and I'm like, all right, that's cool, that's cool. But that iridescent, Brandon, I hate you. <laughs> I know a mini does nothing for me in my lifestyle, but this freaking color, sensational. I love this color so much. This one is, I already know that's gonna be sold out, child. That one, mm. And even the the silver one is gonna be sold out. But it's that iridescent. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's almost, it's got the blue front, but then on the edges, it's got the green. Uh, just the handle. Uh, I don't want this bag, but I want this bag. I want this bag. I'm not even like the girly, well, I mean, I could pull off any bag if I put my mind to it, but it's something about this oil slick. Man, damn it, Brandon. Like, I really don't need no damn, I don't, I don't, I don't need it. Imagine that with an all black outfit. This seems to be a, a very toned down collection, but um, yeah, that's great because he gave us no time to prepare. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.